What's up everyone, MK Tom Brady here. In this video, I wanna take a look at the variation system and see if there's any real way that this variation system can be salvaged in the balance patch in the upcoming Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Upgrade. Now, one of the things that I think just about everybody agrees upon is there's a level of plainness and blandness in the variations and within the variation system itself. And this really creates that feeling of boredom that instead of wanting to play for hours and hours and hours, you either get really bored quickly or after a while you just don't play at all. And that's really where the state of the game is at this point. But when you talk about balance, one of the first things people always say is nerf upgraded, right? That's one of the first things, nerfer. And there's a few other characters that they go to like Cetrion, etc. The real problem is not that these characters are too strong. You have to realize these characters are so strong because they're not overwhelming. The rest of the cast or a large portion of the cast is actually underwhelming. A character like Upgraded Jackie is fine. She plays the basic system great and has her own secondary and tertiary meta. She has secondary mechanics that allow her to play her own game, which allows her to play the system and gives her an individual feel, gives her creativity. The rest of the cast, or most, most of them anyway, they don't have anything like this. So really the problem here is the solution, I should say, is not to nerf something like this. Because the Shao Kahn player stuck doing 1,000 down fours every match is not going to say, yay, I can't wait to come back to the game because upgraded is nerfed. He's going to get just as bored with or without upgraded nerfed, and then the upgraded player is going to leave. So now instead of losing him, now you lose them both. This is not the answer. The answer is to change the way the variation system works. And I have some ideas, Sound or at least things I would like to see. I'd like to see separation in Sound the variation Kong. system. For those who don't know what I mean, Shao Kahn is the greatest example of this. Shao Kahn is literally the same throughout all three variations. It doesn't matter if they're throwing spears, doing shoulders, or in his third variation, he has a spear that acts like a shoulder where the spear advances forward, like his shoulder, and it also launches when you amplify it, like his shoulder. They're both one and the same. When you get in close, all three of them use back one for advantage. They can also throw off of it or use forward three. Forward three is death when they block it, so they use forward three four, which is death when you flawless block it, so they use forward three shoulder to kind of stop you from doing that. Abuse down one, down four, and sweeps. That's all three variations. That's really all he has. And of course, to try to stop you from poking back, they'll throw out like a down four into a shoulder. Or sometimes they'll also use variation two, we'll use like down one into annihilation. But again, one's minus 19, one's minus 20. There's really, they're almost identical between all three variations. You don't really feel any creativity going from one variation to the next. A lot of characters have that problem. And you have characters like, you know, Truth and Light Raiden, which have some of the worst special moves in the game. And okay, Tom, we already know this, right? So what's the answer? Well, one thing that I would like to see that I think could improve on this is how the variations themselves are actually built. What you may not realize is the same way you build your variations in the custom uh, variation system is the same way that... The, uh, the designers are forced to build the characters in the tournament variation system. You might think, how? They made the game. They did, but in making the game, they also not only handcuffed you with how you're going to build your own custom variation, they handcuffed themselves. Something that there is no way around is the way a variation is constructed. So you have your base variation, which has you know, a set amount of, of moves, has a couple of specials, and then you build on the base variation by plugging in other special moves. And the way that you plug these moves in is you have a skill point system, up to three, and each move has a certain point value. The more practical or devastating a move, the higher the point. The less practical or devastating the move, the lower the points. The problem is, A, this is completely imbalanced because you have the worst move in the game, like Raiden's Joe Push here, is a two slot move. Then you have other characters that have devastating moves that are one slot. So they put three devastating moves and other characters have useless moves that occupy multiple slots. 
One fix that I think could be really, really cool is if they expanded the skill slots. In other words, maybe make it five points instead of three. Then as designers, they can add to the variation system and add some moves. Then I would also like to see them take moves that are worthless like Joe Push and either buff it up to, okay, now it's going to be a two slot move. We can justify this being a two slot move or bump the point value down to one or just completely remove it and put a different move in the game altogether, which I think I would love to see. I would love to see other moves put in the game and we'll get to that in a second. By assigning five slots, it really gives them more freedom and creativity with how they build the tournament variations. And this is really, really cool because now we have more complete variations as opposed to variations that feel really, really limited. I would also like to see moves added to the game. We talked about a character like Shao Kahn. There's also a character like Sonya. Sonya feels more like Ronda Rousey, and I've said this many times in the past, than she does Sonya Blade. You look at, you think of Sonya's most iconic moves, her kiss, her leg grab, her upwards bicycle kick, her square wave, I mean just her cartwheel. None of these exist. It's just ring toss, ring toss, ring toss, ring toss. She has like three different versions of ring toss and a bunch of completely useless moves. I would like to see some of these useless moves be replaced by a kiss, by a leg grab, by a cartwheel, etc. I think they can definitely add moves to the game. Sonya is a character I'd love to see that done for. Shao Kahn as well. Think of his moves like as maybe his, his, his hammer, his little hammer club where he bops you over the head with the hammer. That's not in the game. His upwards knee, that's not in the game. Maybe instead of a shoulder, one variation could have his upwards knee or, I don't know, if they did custom variations, you could have them both. Although I don't think custom variations are going to be a thing. I just, while they would, it works fine online, custom variations in tournament mode probably won't work unless they create some type of a drop-down menu in the actual character select, which I don't think is an option for this game, maybe in a future title. So these are some things I would really like to see done with the variation system. Another thing they can do is that they don't want to add to the point value system. They can basically take specials and add them to the generic uh, variation. So in other words, they can say, just for example, a character like Aaron Black, uh, okay, well, all variations automatically have the up peacemaker and the down peacemaker. And then all variations have this, or all variations would have one of these moves, right? And then they just put add to the generic variation, which in a sense is going to add to all three variations on top of the variation specific moves. There are multiple ways you can do this, but I think one of the biggest things that the game needs to work on and that I really want to see is a real way to spice the variation system up. A character like Highborn Katana, where all you do is one string into Denian Razors and Melina moves, well, Melina is going to be in the, in the game. There's no reason to have a character doing Melina moves, like throw size or telekicks, when there's already going to be a character throwing size and doing telekicks. There's no reason for that. I mean, they can keep this in for custom variation purposes, but I would like to see this move completely replaced by something else. And I think a combination of all these things would really kind of spice the game up. Characters would be more original. Obviously, I would like to see some tweaks to moves as well. Uh, you know, some moves are too unsafe. They should be safer. Some moves are too safe. They should be more unsafe. Some moves are too slow. They should be faster. Some moves are too fast. They should be slower, etc., etc., and so on and so forth. I think something like this is something that's really, really important. Now, we all know we want to see you know, changes to the base system when it comes to fatal blows or the breakaway system or the wake-up system. But even if you changed all of that, the way the game itself works from character to character is still not enough depth to keep people captured, to keep them engrossed in the game for long enough to the game to really survive at this point. So can the variation system be saved? Yes. The question is, will it? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. What changes do you want to see? Do you want to see buffs or nerfs of any kind? Do you want to see the variation system changed or overhauled in any way? If so, give me your suggestions. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, stay tuned for more content.